Hey everybody, this is Dr. E with Metropolitan Headache and Spine. So we always put out pictures and videos about us doing these health fairs and we never show you guys what we really do with them. So today we're going to give you a little piece of it and see how it works, okay? So you can actually see how the examination works or sort of a scan really and then what the results show to look like. So here we go. So we have Jane here from doTERRA. Okay, if you like essential oils, you're going to put in her information in the bottom of this. Alright, so then go down below and you'll see it. Jen, you want to share with us if you have any little aches and pains or anything like that? Um, I do have a long-term problem with my right leg, so I'll be okay. curious to see Okay, okay, with the right leg. Let's the see. So as you can see, there's a laser scan that comes out. Don't move, Jen. And uh, just like that, comes and scans the bottom of your feet. And also, the way it works, it sort of gets some um, pressure you're putting on each side and. Alright, so that's one. And Jay, what we're going to do is put this one here and put the left one in the middle. Make it nice and center. Stand nice and tall. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Good. So we're going to figure out how much pressure you're putting on and what it's going to look like. So first it's going to be mainly the foot and what the foot looks like and how flat it is or how flat it is. It gives you information on that. Second is going to be basically your spine if there is any scoliosis, pelvic tilt, a knee that's injured or whatnot. Okay. So here we go. So first is the foot. So we're going to come over here. Do you mind if I share this with everybody? It's okay. All right. Um, all right. So when we look over here, this is a sample. We want her foot to look like this. These are her feet. This is the left, that's the right. So you can see, so she said she has a lot of problem with her right. You see the right side, it has more red than the left side. And just right off the bat, you can see she has some arch over here, but the left side, maybe slightest bit, but mainly it's red. The red are the worst, so obviously we want it to look like that. On a pronation stability index of how much pronation she has and how much her ankle is stable, is she should be 0 to 34 range. She's 124. 125 is severe, so she's knocking at the door there. So according to this, she should get some sort of orthotics. Now we're going to see her foot again, but okay, so 60% of her uh, uh, pressure or I would say weight is on the right side. What that means is that she's definitely putting a lot more weight, 10% more weight. Uh, of, her, uh, of her body mass. So that would be an issue because that extra 10% goes to the right side, puts pressure into the right hip, into the right knee, into the right ankle. So as you said, you have pain on the right side, is that right? So that, that kind of goes with exactly what that shows. And the reason is, according to the scan, obviously we haven't done any real medical examination, this is just a screening, is that the pelvis is slightly tilted to the right. And when the pelvis is tilted to the right chain, what happens is that it causes, it could cause some leg length inequality, where one leg should be taller than the other one. So if I exaggerate, if I'm standing here, and if I tilt my pelvis to the right, my left leg looks shorter than my right. Okay, so I'm, I'm exaggerating, I'm not saying there's this much difference, but that's a possibility. But I see the picture. You see the picture, right. So there's a, also on this side, it shows that there's a 5.2 millimeter difference between the right and left as far as arch height level goes. So that 5.2, you saw that the left side was a little higher and the right side was down uh, in the middle portion, in the inner side of her uh, feet. Uh, now, according to this also, the last thing I'll share with you is that because of all this right side pressure, the left shoulder is dropping on that side. Now, this possibility that it could cause some sort of curvature or it may be okay, but that's something the screening, you know, kind of gives us an idea of maybe what to look for and make sure we kind of get uh, certain things that we maybe didn't think about before and we make sure we cover that during a real examination for you. Do you have any questions for regarding that, Jim? Right, and these are things that you can help with. That's right, that's right. So these are things that I would, you know, I'm like a mechanical doctor. So what I do is I find out, um, now that I know you're putting more pressure on the right, I try to equalize that with manipulation, traction, adjustments. It could be laser treatment for arthritis and stenosis. It could be uh, dry needling to help with the tension in the muscles. It could be um, any sort of physical therapy, activity, activities that you know would be beneficial for you. And last but not least, ergonomics. So the way you sit, the way you're driving, the way you're kind of doing your work, and whatever your work is, whether it's a desk job or picking up boxes and things like that. All right. Any other questions? No, sounds Sound really make sense? useful. Yeah. Okay. Really All right, guys. 
Come and try it out. One of these fairs will just come to the office. All right, until next time. Take care.